Buenas y bienvenidos a Red Dead Redemption 2. Continuamos justo donde dejamos y en el episodio anterior lo que hicimos fue ayudar a Mary. Es una misión secundaria, pero que a mí por lo menos esa historia me gustaría seguirla porque tiene que ver con el pasado de Arthur. Y aparte, Mary parece que a lo mejor acaba con Arthur y todo, ¿eh? No sé, ya, ya veremos. Está complicado el asunto, pero en fin. Y por otro lado, fuera de cámara, he comprado un nuevo caballo. El otro caballo era... Yo qué sé, no era malo, malo del todo, pero mira, he dicho, ¿sabes qué? Vamos a comprar un buen caballo. Y compré este, el árabe. Está bastante bien, o sea, tiene velocidad, aceleración, tiene bastante más aguante que el otro, que eso es lo que más me ha llamado la atención, tiene mucho aguante. Así que tenemos el vínculo a nivel 1, obviamente, pero ya iremos subiéndolo poco a poco con el tiempo. Y ahora vamos a ver a José, bueno, a nuestro amigo José, pues para ver... Uh... ¿Qué es lo que quiere? Yo, mirad, un momento, nunca hago esto, pero esta vez sí. Fijaos, Arthur con traje. Diréis, los demás también, ya, pero Arthur con traje a mí me vuelve loco. Os lo juro, me vuelve loco. No, a ver qué nos cuenta. Lo que realmente ya lo sabemos, es lo de... Tiene pinta de que es una cena o algo así, ¿no? Una invitación para ir de etiqueta. En aquellos tiempos no se diría así, pero bueno. Hey, Arthur. Come on. If we're gonna make it to this party, we sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh yeah. Old friend Dutch van der Linde is finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> Cómo ha vacilado a Arthur, ¿eh? We are ridiculous, utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There can be fine pickets. No, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I'm sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca. I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. <laughs> Todo tocándole el hombro, menos Arthur. <laughs> mira, 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 qué porte que tiene Arthur, eh. Buf. That's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come, come, this way. Uh, with a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Brante is a very good friend with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Señor Napoli. As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know, Mr. Brante, he has a the thing, you know, a respect. Sí, aquella luz. Hay una bombilla que no funciona bien. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Señor Brante. Come, come. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. Anda que podríamos haber ido a la peluquería un poco, ¿no? Ah, da igual, así... Vamos de hipster. <risa> hipster de la época. <risa> no sé, sí, a ver, tendríamos que habernos cortado un poco el pelo, creo yo, aunque sea, ¿eh? Perfilar la barba. En fin, ya es tarde, ya estamos aquí. You arrived, and you've washed for the prima volta this whole mes, it's a dubbio. This is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something, although I'm not quite sure what. So, this is San Denis High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. 
<laughs> oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crawley. <laughs> a, a Confederate major in the war. <laughs> I mean, hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. <laughs> oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taken. None taken! <laughs> All these vulgar people, they hate me. <laughs> non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire! <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> <laughs> Those sure were the days. <laughs> Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well... We, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you... Pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. Si tengo oportunidad, le mataré. No tengo nada más que decir. Uy, a cerrar así esta puerta, me entran ganas de... De echar un vistazo y todo, ¿eh? ¡Ay! Había que intentarlo, gente. Había que intentarlo. No se iba a abrir ni de coña, pero yo qué sé. Por probar. No me cae nada bien este cabrón. Se burla de todos, falta el respeto a todos, claro. Pero está... Es como el que manda, ¿no? Pero claro... Venga, vamos a utilizar nuestras dotes carismáticas. Arthur, ¿sabes? A ver, que tú estás muy solo aquí. Vale, ya no está solo. Uh. ¡Hombre! Mira, mira las señoritas. ¡Uf! Bueno, a ver ¿Dónde estaban estos? Vamos a buscar... Deberíamos ir a por el alcalde, supongo, ¿no? Me sale persona desconocida Yo supongo que si fuera uno de estos A ver, ya te estoy intentando Ahí el alcalde siempre está ocupado, macho. Bueno, 
I will not deny idiocy, sir, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy. You are drunk, Ferdinand. I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. What say you and me cool off? <laughs> wow. Arthur Asunto de Portero también. Sirve champaña. Portero. Este como retuerce el brazo, eh. Me cago en la puta. A ver si ahora quiere hablar con nosotros. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. A writer? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh, oh, oh. My lord, they're fantastic. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. Uh, it's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Sure. Well, Arthur is a spy now. Hello, mister. Sí, sí, si me acerco demasiado, sí, pero no me quiero despegar tampoco. A ver, por aquí me pilla 100%. Se da la vuelta y ya está, no, no tienes excusa para estar aquí. ¿Y este? Ah, vale. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about doing whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Terp. Menudo disimulo que tienes, Arthur. Se apoya ahí y dice, ala. Puedo escuchar escondidas desde aquí. Es que me van a pillar. Cuidado, cuidado. Marie, Marie, find that little reprobate chip and beat him. I will not have standard slip in this house. Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. Me encanta porque dice, no hay que perder las formas. Y le pega. It's not meant for the likes of you, you know this. Standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. Otro que voy a matar si puedo. Seguramente será esta puerta que ha cerrado él. Bueno, él no, el, el escolta que nos acompañaba. Sí, ¿ves? La puerta secreta que quería entrar yo antes. Ok. Recupero.
que era el libro de cuentas. Claro, pero... A ver, voy a fracasar seguro, pero... ¿A dónde ha ido este? Voy a entrar, a ver. Claro, es que hemos visto que lo ha cerrado con llave. Pero espérate, porque... Es que es un máquina. Vámonos de aquí, ya lo miraremos después. Oye, pues... Pensaba que iba a ser más complicado. Yo salgo por aquí. Hola, buenas noches. ¿Qué información confidencial será esa? Es que no quería revisarlo ahí mismo. Ay, cállate, pero si Dodge está ahí. Pensaba que estaría abajo. No quería revisarlo por si yo qué sé, me sale de cualquier sitio y nos pilla. Uh, un banco grande. Muy interesante todo lo que están diciendo ahora mismo. Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. Go home. Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk all so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. Oh. Let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. <laughs> Interesting times. <laughs> I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law react. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller, fine man, here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. <sighs> Bien, bien. Ya empieza a llegar cosas interesantes. Atraco a un banco, pero no un banco como el que atracamos allí en... ¿Dónde fue? En Valentine. Ahora no recuerdo dónde fue el atraco del banco, pero vamos, que sacamos una burrada de pasta y os dije, madre mía, menudo golpe, no sé qué. Espérate. Espérate porque ahora se viene un banco de verdad. Y también, pues... Esto es la partida de póker. Hostias. Yo no soy bueno jugando al póker, pero... Todo sea por, por ver qué es lo que pasa. ¿Te imaginas que ganamos ahí un montón de pasta con una partida de póker? A ver... Uh, todo lo tenemos. ¿Y esto? Persona desconocida. Vamos a ver esto. Ya estamos por aquí. A ver esta interrogación que es. Ya os digo, todos los demás... 
nos podemos hacer una idea, pero... De esto de aquí sí que tengo curiosidad. Es este. Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Uh, Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Oh, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flats. Gentlemen, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. As my people, if we are even a people anymore, we've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly, contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is. But I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously, they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Yeah, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, an appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. No. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. Oh. Muy interesante todo, la verdad. Oye, pues... ¿A dónde pegamos ahora? Es que yo pensaba que íbamos a hacer algo, pero no. Hmm. Está investigando el barco, Florida, y quiere reunirse con nosotros. Venga, vamos para allá. Ya me pensaba yo que los indios iban a... A dar... Uh, por lo menos alguna misión. Aunque ya os digo, eso es una putada que te cagas, que te echen de tus tierras. Y claro, les conviene porque... Han encontrado petróleo, pues justo en, en sus tierras. Claro, el petróleo en esta época esto movía dinero. Bueno, que a día de hoy sigue moviendo dinero, ¿no? Pero en, en esta época era una locura lo que movía. En fin, vamos a ver uh, qué golpe tiene para nosotros. Que la última vez fue bastante bien, todo muy fino y sin ningún problema. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahasi River boat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. 
verás tú. Podemos adquirir el que queramos o... Ah, no, solo este. No puedo cambiar de, de página y nada. Bueno, gratis también. Gratis también, que no nos vamos a poner tiquismiquis, ¿verdad? Ya, el come on, ese último. Ah, también nos vamos a, a arreglar. A ver. Nos lo ponemos cortito. Demasiado corto, ¿no? Es que la melena me da un poco más igual. Y la barba. Y a gomina. ¿Nos ponemos gomina? ¿Qué es esto, tío? A la derecha. Joder, hay mucha cosa, ¿eh? Mira, hacia atrás. Pelo de, de velocidad. ¿La barba la podemos tocar también? Y claro que sí. Nos acortamos un poquito. Que mira, mira, mira. Parecemos otro, ¿eh? Sin barba. Fua. Nah, la barba no la vamos a tocar. Pedazo barba que tenemos. Esto no se toca. Hala, nos arreglamos el pelo. Him. How does he know what cards I got? He won't. 
but the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. <laughs> Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. You'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <coughs> Indeed. Desde luego, contactos y optimista es. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, gentlemen. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Pues gente, lo vamos a ir dejando por aquí Espero que os haya gustado el episodio de hoy Perdonad el corte repentino Pero es lo que hay Tengo que cortar ya que me tengo que pirar Nos vemos gente, chao